we've got her comfortable already. <laughs> Speaking of Shona, let me tell you why I invited Shona. Sometimes when we're prepared speeches, we think about this all night, we worry about it, we come <clears> in, <throat> and we're just nervous. But I find that if you wind the person up, if you get the person comfortable when looking for a crowd, when they come up here, they're already comfortable. <clears throat> Most of the nervousness has gone away. <clears throat> Our first speaker tonight will be doing a, a speech on the Okora Road. His name is Daniel Kwa. Now, Daniel, what do I know about you? <coughs> Daniel, you come here to learn and practice the art of communication, like everyone else here. Most of us are even aware that you may even earn certificates of recognition for completing this training. Is that true? It is. Very true. <laughs> true. Do you guys know that? Oh, yes. <laughs> I've heard something about it, but I haven't yet applied. Daniel will be given a five to seven minute speech. Daniel, you already know the timing sequence, correct? Five to seven. Yeah. Five or seven, you know the, the red card, green card thing, right? Yeah. No okay. Okay. No Daniel, wasn't you who gave us uh, an education on the training certificates last night? Yeah. yeah. So you know all about it. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, I'm not quite sure what the title of your speech is, but your speech, by the way, today is going to be Jocelyn. Who is Jocelyn? Or Jocelyn. Or Jocelyn. Justin. No, Justin is not here. So somebody so else. Who's going to evaluate Daniel's speech? Fernando. Shirina? No, I'm the feedback. So we're going to ask Shirina <coughs> at the last minute to evaluate a Daniel's speech. And Daniel, I want to invite you up here for a second. Now we know Daniel is going to give a five to seven minute speech. In order for me to calm Daniel down, I want to make sure he's comfortable with anyone looking at him. Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. Now you've done this before, haven't you? Yeah. When you've done it before, were you a little nervous, a little anxious, a little... Uh, yeah, more or less. But you feel a lot, lot better now, right? A lot better now? A little well, less. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to assume you practice this speech in your head before you wrote it on paper. It's either one or the other. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. What's the title of your speech? The Gore Roadmap. The Gore Roadmap. Yeah. Oh, that's something we all want to know about. <laughs> Daniel Kwa, the Gore Roadmap. So, hi everyone. How are you all feeling tonight? Good. Alright, good. So, uh, tonight, as you all know, already know, and if you all been here last time, you already know that I'm going to talk about the Gore Roadmap. Which is basically we are having some education system uh, <coughs> which revolves around four modules. <coughs> okay. okay. Okay, so what it is, is it's essentially a training program designed around the concepts of what Agora is already doing. And but it will be more it's more detailed, I guess. There's a few things we can focus on. Okay, so first of all, there's uh, four modules to it. Right, the modules will be the initial, the basic, and the advanced. The initial, the basic path, the, and the advanced path, and finally, there's the leadership module. Okay, and. Right. So the initial projects are basically the starters, the introductions to the entire course. Uh, they, this is divided into three main uh, parts. First is one of two projects, either the timer, either the timer project or filler project. Followed by a speech about something you love, which is basically anything of your passions anything you want to talk to people about. And finally, the third phase is an introduction to who you are. 
what they're doing or who you are as a person. You have to talk to the audience. Okay, next will be the basic path, which is divided into three modules. Uh, three modules, okay. And the first is basics of speaking. Speaking. First, there's uh, there's body language, there's speech structure, there's several factors like this, which is well, it's basically the basic speaking. Then you can also pick up the speaking techniques such as uh, humor. Humor and emotional speech and yeah. And next we have basic club roles like uh, which is basic club skills, which basically revolves around the roles you can take in the Agora club, such as timer, grammarian, or evaluator. <coughs> yeah. Okay, next, the advanced path. And finally, we come to the third part, the advanced path, <coughs> which is a little more interesting than the other two, because all well, the first two, basically one after another. The advanced path is actually an evolution. It's actually leads from several basic, uh, several modules from the basic path, specifically from speaking techniques. For example, if you took uh, humor, humorous speaking, you can go into humorous speech. Huh. Yeah, and then <coughs> if you took uh, emotion, using emotion in basic speaking, you can go into emotional. Uh, <laughs> Emotional, yeah, into drama, dramatic means basically the advanced path is like specializing for the different modules of the basic path to sort of make sure your to make sure your journey is specialized to what you're going for, what you want to go for. And last of all, we have the leadership path. The leadership path is within the advanced path. But it requires several different modules. Five. So it might be several different modules for me. And it's also let's see. <coughs> and it composes of five different modules in total. It has you when you complete the leadership path, you have to go through you have to finish the leadership principles, leading the team, <laughs> organizing and planning. And finally, delegating and spearheading change. And last of all, once you've completed them, each of these parts you will have a certificate. Next one. Okay, so you have a qualified speaker from completing the basic communication path. You have the accomplished speaker from, com from finishing any of the advanced parts. And finally, you have the <coughs> accomplished communicator from completing the leadership path. So, to sum it up, the world map composes of four modules.
called Showing Us the Journey of Agora Roadmap. Yes. I was thinking it's a road to somewhere. It's a new destination that I did in this I realized it was a training roadmap for Agora people like us who wants to take on this. So today I'm going to evaluate on one of the speakers who have earlier touches on how to evaluate uh, effective uh, a speech. On topic relevancy, I thought it was relevant because we're talking about training, which we're all here for. Become better speakers, we need to know what are the paths that we need to undertake in order to become <coughs> better speakers. Uh, while you're trying to get us to go into your road, we are confused on the journey. There are so many paths that we need to take. There's basic, mm -hmm. and uh, there's basic role, there's basic advanced initial, and mm -hmm. as me as a new uh, members of uh, visitors of this club, I was a bit confused. I'm not sure mm -hmm. which path I must take right now. So I will give you a recommendation. Daniel, maybe you would like to tell us, you would like to share with us what I should take as a first time into this club. Maybe initial, how long does it take, and what does it compose of. And then uh, the vocal variety, because most of the times we're you see with your notes, we don't see you engaging us and we are not sure whether you are getting connected with us on what you want to share with us. That you, whether you are sharing us on the journey, what kind of journey that you want to partake of what you interview us. Your body language was not uh, very enthusiastic, I'd like to comment that. I would like you to add more excitement in this delivery, how it could excite us to wanting very much by engaging us, planting us with the response. I know we are here for to learn to help others because how many of you want to take on that role? And today we call for uh, responsibility that do you want to take part in that role if you don't show your hands and then and make a reservation? Call for action. Because there's a journey that you want us to take and then you have to call for action so that we can go on the path. On all, I'm very <coughs> impressed with what you have. Um, it's, it's a very long, it's not, a, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you are so track on on this journey, which is um, trying to make an understanding of it. So I believe after this delivery, you have a better understanding of the, the road and maybe on the next uh, delivery, you could tell us more about your journey with Agora and how it can impact us and help us <coughs> to go into this journey with you. Thank you. Are you evaluating her? So every relationship you have no problem when you just follow the roadmap, right? Now the only thing is you miss out was um, for Daniel, you did not use the clicker because you have so many boxes on the screen. <coughs> Which box are you talking about? You don't know. It's just speak on your notes and the six, seven boxes were on the screen. Mm. So if you are speaking on a particular box, take the and point, this is what I'm talking about, then everybody will listen to you, we know you speak. The other one is the blue boxes, the light blue color, light blue boxes, the words are white, so it doesn't blend because light and light. Oh. <coughs> Change to dark blue boxes, then you can put the white words there. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. The other part is the engagement, as you touch on, you did not ask questions, so how do you think about this? And how do you feel about this? And is there any question? You, that one was missing. But on the whole, I think you did a pretty good job and you rendered this very good today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, very happy with you. Yes, it means nothing, right? So, keep.